Namaste everyone and welcome to Wellness Mantra. Today we are going to be practicing some invigorating asanas that will make us feel that we are totally energized. It will help you relieve tension. Tension is one question that I keep getting in my inbox. What do I do for tension? Do you have any easy asanas for tension? See, it's not just about easy asanas to relieve tension. Most of these asanas do help to relieve stress because when your body is stressed out, you try and and keep your mind a little more calmer. So the idea is not to be completely stress free. Stress is essential in everyone's life but just the right amount of stress to make you respond correctly to a situation. But when that stress is never never in within that limit and always exceeds that's when stress becomes a burden stress becomes tension and it becomes a problem let's try and be stress free what do we do to become stress free yes regular exercise any be it whatever be it dance be it a little bit of yoga be it a little bit of aerobics whatever you do will help you even a basic walk down your street will actually help you relieve stress to a large extent. It is essential to feel healthy, to be stress free. Let us start today's practice with some simple warm ups. All right, these are simple warm ups that we've done. Hand rotation, wrist rotation, the other way around. Let's do one finger up, two finger up, three finger up, four finger up, five finger up and say hi. One more time, one finger up, two finger up, three finger up, four finger up, five finger up and say hi. Good job guys. All right, let's just do a little bit of uh, elbow. One, two, three and four. Elbow bending. One, two, three and four. And then one, two, for your shoulders, three and four. The other way, one, two, three and four. Good job. Let's just do some free swinging. Slightly keep your legs apart and we're going to swing from one side to the other. Try not to lift your heels off the ground and turn. Keep your leg flat on the ground and then swing your hands out. One, breathe out and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So most of you are working from home these days and those who are not working from home are usually healthcare professionals and you have your own woes. Uh, so for both of you who are working from home, who's got a sit at a desk, Sit at the system and keep working, 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 tightening up your shoulders, putting a lot of strain on your neck, your upper back. And for those healthcare workers who are using a lot of their upper hands, using their hands to lift heavy objects, move it from one side to the other, this is particularly for you and for that person who happened to ask me, what can I do for tension? This is for you too. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to relieve the tension from our upper back. Now to do this, we're going to clasp our hands behind us like this as I do. Clasp or interlock your hands behind you and give it a nice tug downwards. So from sideways, I'm going to pull it downwards, stretching out my chest. That feels really good. You should try it. And now, hug yourself. Hug yourself as much as you can, like that, and bend to the sides. Now the other way, interlocking one hand over the other. Alright, now for another version of this one. So you have interlocked your fingers. Now we are going to hold a Namaskara Mudra and see if you can 
place it here now if you can do this much very good for a beginner this is awesome if you can't attach all your uh, entire palm even this for a beginner should be fine if you can bring all your fingers together and your palm to close into a namaskara mudra wonderful now our objective is to try and see if you can take that hand up like this once you're here in this position enjoy that palm against your upper back try and pull your elbow backwards so don't try to pull this elbow in so pull it out breathe normally and stay there with a big beaming smile like this breathe in and out this is very very good for your shoulders helps to relax your shoulder blades it helps to relieve tension of your neck all right now moving on we will do what is called the right angle position i've shown you this during the padahastasana stage we'll see again how we perform the right angle so from here we're going to go down using your hands to support your knee and stay there try to keep your knee straight lean forward and stay there or you don't have to bend down all the way see if your back is straight now if you're comfortable stay there breathe for a few seconds all right keep breathing keep breathing good job you're doing a wonderful job there very good and now we're going to go into the right angle posture so the right angle is between your legs and your upper body all right your trunk so lift your hands and straighten it out keeping your hands in line with your ears and stay there breathe normally feel your hamstring stretch enjoy and stay now slowly bring your hand down and come up so as you stay there with your hands supporting your thighs it works for your hamstrings and it also helps with stretching your lower back now when you extend your hand in front of you that's when you feel that it is relaxing or helping your shoulders to strengthen it also helps your upper back in particular to strengthen it also helps with postural correction especially these days when most people are so fixed to their gadgets and i always see that there is a big disconnect between their neck and their body so it's usually like this because they're leaning too much so the way that you can correct it is try and see if you can go back and get your neck in line with the rest of your body guys we've got to do it for the sake of your body it's the only one you've got right <laughs> let's try it we'll do this one more time breathe out as you go down making a 90 degree angle between your legs and your torso and see if you can breathe in raise your hands and place the hands by the side of your ears stay and breathe out and slowly come up for all those of you who felt that the pada hastasana was just too much this is a great way to start and it also helps to extend your hamstrings which means that if you have a, a beginning of a sciatic uh, problem if you have a nerve pinch this could help you with your lower back issues in sciatica uh, good luck practicing this one now we have created a one single right angle now we're going to do two right angles within the same body how do we do two right angles now to do the two right angles or dvikonasana we're going to place our legs almost by around 30 cm apart 
When you're ready, you're going to clasp your hands together like we did earlier and breathe out as you go down to your regular 90 degree. Once you're here, we're going to try and raise our hands up to another 90 degree formed between your hand and your torso. So stay there, enjoying the 90 degree between your hands and your torso. Breathe normally. This particularly helps with your shoulder joints. It helps to relieve the stress of your neck and your shoulder blades. It helps to enhance your sciatica. And breathe out. Drop your hands down, breathe in and come up. Good job guys. And now for another one of my favorite yoga postures. This is the Virabhadrasana or the warrior posture that I told you about the other day. Uh, why do I like this posture so much? Virabhadra or the warrior uh, posture increases confidence. It makes you feel like, yes, you can conquer anything. And it is very essential for someone to feel positive and highly energized every day and Virabhadrasana just makes me feel that. The one particular interesting thing about Virabhadrasana is this is something that I used to practice during my stinge with my Kalari or Kalari Payata, the traditional art, uh, martial art form of Kerala. So that's when I realized that that stance of Virabhadrasana, I'll show you what the stance looks like so you'll understand what I'm talking about making a triangle with your legs. We go into a stance where you lower your body, making a 90 degree angle between your leg and your thighs. And you look straight ahead. And when you do this, you have this feeling nothing can stop you. There is so much of dynamism. There is so much of groundedness in this posture, so much of rootedness in this posture, that it is very difficult for someone to strike you off balance when you stay here in this position. It makes you feel so confident about your groundedness. You feel very, very powerful in this posture. You think nothing can stop you. <laughs> so are you ready to do the Virabhadrasana with me? Let's do it together. I'll teach you two versions today, all right? Okay, so the first version of Virabhadrasana will be a salutation with Namaskaram and in, into the Virabhadrasana. So, you stand to one side of the mat, stretch your leg out. When you have done about a meter and a half, turn your right feet to the right side, slowly lowering your body until your thighs become a right angle to your leg. All right, now once you reach here, you turn to that side, lift both your hands and stay there, looking forward, gazing straight ahead of you. You are the warrior, nothing can stop you. Breathe normally as you stay there, confident warrior. How does that feel? Breathe out and come up, close your legs and jump back to position. The one good thing about Virabhadrasana is that it helps to open up your groin region, stretches your groin region out, strengthens your leg muscles, helps to give you that complete stretch and command over your body. Uh, let's do it to the other side now, the first version of Virabhadrasana, let's do it again. Breathe in and out, pointing your left feet towards the left side. Now you're going to sink in to make a 90 degree angle between your leg and your thighs. When you're ready, my warriors, 
lift your hands up into a namaskaram look straight ahead believe in yourself understand nothing can stop you you have it all within you have that very confident smile feel how balanced your body feels as you stay there enjoy the confidence that you gain as you smile beam and stand there in virabhadra posture the warrior posture breathe out bring your hands down breathe in come up breathe out toes to the side breathe in flex your knee and jump back to position wasn't that super fun i totally love this virabhadrasana now for the second version of virabhadrasana which is even more exciting all right now we stand to one side of the mat make one big step to the side right feet pointed to the right side and when you're ready my warriors let's go in sink into the asana taking your hands up looking through the tip of your fingers straight ahead at your enemy and your enemy is nobody but your lazy self <laughs> are you all doing this with me feel your legs stretch i want you to feel your muscles work i want you to feel the strength you gain as your chest expands and you stay there breathing looking gazing straight ahead ready to take up any challenge that comes your way you are the warrior nothing can stop you wonderful good job practicing breathe in and come up breathe out and drop your hands as you point your toes back flex your knee and jump back wonderful practice let's do it to the other side now the virabhadrasana to the left side version 2 once you move to the left side make sure it's about a meter and a half away pointing your toes towards the left we're going to sink in as we lift our hand gaze straight ahead ready to conquer anything that comes your way let's do it breathe in and sink stay there feel the groundedness that this posture is giving you feel the confidence that you gain as you stay there enjoy your breathing feel the strength that comes from the core of your body nothing stopping you now good job my warriors bring your hand down breathe in and turn your toes breathe out bend and jump back to your position so that was virabhadrasana for you i totally love doing both the virabhadrasana what i would strongly recommend is try and do the virabhadrasana every time you feel your energy is coming low energy is down and you feel a bout of self doubt go in front of the mirror practice this looking straight ahead believe in yourself i want you to stare at yourself in the mirror holding on to the warrior pose and believing and making sure that it's not just a belief it is complete confidence in what you are it is knowing your true nature your spirit is free and you have it in you please remember that all times and nothing can beat you you have it in you so please practice the virabhadrasana with all your might i want to see you in a completely energized form as you practice the virabhadrasana and keep letting me know how you feel about the entire practice cuz it gives me a great thrill to know that you are all enjoying the practice sessions all right until we see another time this is shama saying goodbye for today Bye bye